Hi, welcome friends. Welcome to Guru's Astro Palmistry. Uh, today I'm going to analyze uh, palm of a 34 year old person. Uh, he's of African origin and uh, he's working abroad. He's working abroad and I he approached me just to see uh, what I could see in his palm. Uh, I, su I said yes perfect no no worries uh, I took a picture of his palm and I could actually see his palm um, you know he came to me uh, in my office I could actually see his palm and that was really good because his palm lines are so thin so it's very difficult now uh, he has a twin brother now what I'm trying to tell you here is that see what I'm trying to explain here is that I asked him his date of birth time of birth place of birth he told me he knows his date of birth and place of birth, but he doesn't know his time of birth. Therefore, when you don't know the time of birth, it is very difficult to predict or uh, make a birth chart. So I said, okay, no worries. Uh, I will make a birth chart, which is a rough birth chart, and then I'll make a palm chart based on the palm lines. So you can see the palm chart that I've made here. This is the palm chart I've made. It has got some uh, markings based on Sanskrit. You know, it's in Sanskrit or Hindi um, because I'm used to that. So that's how uh, we prepare the palm chart. The reason why I prepared the palm chart was that the birth chart was not accurate. And I use both birth chart and palm lines to construct a palm chart and thereby I give the predictions. Now, before we get into the predictive part, let me just quickly show you some um, features of this uh, hand especially the palm lines if you look at this person's palm you can see this uh, green line here this is his heart line surprising isn't it it is his heart line and look at this look at this blue line and then there is it comes here there's a slight uh, break here and then it goes like that okay now what what happens here is that this is his heart line which is forked and this is his headline and then the heart line and um, uh, headline uh, merge into one like a simian line which means it's like 30% simian hand right now if you look at um, his uh, heart line the heart line is actually this way okay it's like that I've forgotten to draw the green part here it has got a slightly curvish look and if you look at the displacement of the Jupiter mount and this particular heart line joining the periphery or the ridges of this particular um, Jupiter mount, it is clear that the person has a retrograde Jupiter. Okay, Jupiter is retrograde. So this is clear from his palm. So that's one thing. Also, you can see that when uh, although the Jupiter is retrograde, I have marked Rahu as well. The Rahu is a part and parcel of his life, to be honest, because you can see the structure of both the heart line, head line and the way uh, it has formed together. This also shows very strong influence of Rahu on Jupiter. In fact, you see, he has a twin brother. So obviously his, his birth chart and his brother's birth chart would be almost the same 99.99% same because they were born probably two minutes apart right so there's not going to be much change but if you look at their palm lines they're completely different okay so uh, that's why palm chart is very important it gives you much greater insights into um, uh, the person's uh, mental makeup what he's going to uh, you know enjoy what is going where he's going to fail where he's going to succeed what how much money when are the events what are the events in his life etc etc the second thing uh, which i wanted to explain was this this is one two and three and and these are the sthai rekha which means the permanent lines of the mounts this is jupiter permanent line this is the saturn permanent line this is the sun permanent line the mercury permanent line so uh, in Hindu astropalmistry, whenever we have permanent lines, you know, one, two, three, four, these these lines are enough. Plus some, you know, basic uh, pradhan rekha. Pradhan means principal lines. If you have proper principal lines and these 
straight lines this itself makes the hand above average you don't need anything else you see this is exactly what the hindu astropalmistry principle say however in this hand now let's go into its his fate line his fate line uh, is at this point and this is another one and this is the next one and this tapers off now what this means is that this fate line is very dark here and then it thins out again this is again very dark here and then it thin and it is thin towards the um, as it as it uh, gets dissolved into the moon mount okay so and then this is a very thin fate line here now uh, this is a very different type of fate line which means that there, there is going to be a break or there's going to be a sea change in his career at this point and it did happen i'll explain to you after as i go into the explanation the other important thing in this hand is this particular line that joins the fate line now see i know that uh, traditional indian astro uh, palmist would say that this line is shubha shubha means very good uh, because it it makes an angle right however there are two types of uh, not two types there are many types let me just draw you, draw it here for you see if you have this as fate line and there is a line that joins like this it makes an acute angle less than 45 degrees now the other one is that you have a fate line and the other line joins slightly at an angle i'm sorry slightly at an angle okay this is another type of line then you have lines coming like this you see again an angle but it is towards the ketu mount or towards the bracelet so there are many types of angles that the fate line can make with the other lines that come emerge from the lifeline but in this case the way this line is shows that this person is very well off especially when it uh, concerns property that means I, I asked him whether he has any properties made he said yes he has made a huge house uh, in his hometown in africa i said wonderful However, let us come back to, um, you know, discussing the details of uh, what uh, astropalmistry can predict, which the normal astrology cannot predict or the palmistry cannot predict. Because an astrologer would construct a birth chart and then his twin brother and this person would have the same birth chart and both of them would have the same events in their life, same Maha Dasha, same Antar Dasha, everything would be same, all the yogas would be same. Uh, but trust me this person is abroad he's earning quite well his brother is jobless right and he's not traveled uh, beyond probably his city or the town where he lives so you can see the difference right both of them were born just two minutes or two and a half minutes apart but this is the difference so astropalmistry is much more accurate i'm not saying it's 100 percent, but it's much more accurate than astrology or even normal palmistry now let us come into the predictive part because this video is going to be short um, look at this part this is uh, 20 approximately not approximately it is exactly 20 but here uh, you have to uh, pardon me because uh, the pen here is not very thin so you know my lines are just going to go f kind of a bit more thicker than what it should be so at 20, I told him that you finished your education. He said, yes, I finished my education. Uh, then I told him at this point, which is 22.5, 22.5, um, did you get a job? He said, yes, this was my first job indeed. I said, wow, that's good. So the prediction has come true. Now, why did I do that? Look at the way the line is. Now, when in, in astropalmistry, uh, from what I have seen in the last so many years of my, you know, um, observation, there are 18 to 19 types of line that emerge from this area and cut the uh, the lifeline, Jeevan Rekha or lifeline. Each type has a significance, right? Each type means something else. Now, in this case, this actually is representing Venus, right? And it has an amsha of Shani, which means uh, part of Saturn, which means karma and Venus uh, gives him a job, although not a great job because it doesn't touch it doesn't touch the Dhanarekha or the money line. It has a very slight, uh, you know, kind of touch 
which is not enough for earning good money so that is clear from uh, this farm however he got employed which is important in his country right uh, this is quite good now let us go further again let me tell you that uh, the these markings are actually too thick but i don't have a choice so i have to just explain the way it is right so i told him at 24 at 24 at 24 i hope you can see this oh man at 24 this line goes and touches the fate line or the um bhagya rekha fate line right i asked him whether he got a job um but i did ask him one more thing because look look at the shape of this uh, line which comes all the way from mars i asked him whether you had to change your location uh, which means you had to really shift he said yes he had to shift in fact at the age of 24 he traveled abroad for the first time in his life uh, for a job right now that that confirms then i asked him that okay let's go ahead uh, at this red point you know slightly after the red point there is a uh, obstruction line uh, which is not good so i asked him what happened uh, between 24 and a half and about 25 precisely around 25 he said his mother passed away so that means um, you know this particular was a big impact in his life so that 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 part is clear again then uh, let's move ahead uh, 26 was okay 27 27 this line touches the headline and you can see that it tries to reach or touch the heart line in the in near the mount of sun i asked him whether he found a soulmate or he found a girlfriend or he had a very um a, 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 some person who has impacted his life uh, from the opposite sex um because i i guess that uh, in uh, in two ways let me tell you see this is fine but what i saw was that there were thin lines coming from venus there were thin lines coming from the venus and joining this particular line but at the same time at the same time there was no movement in uh, no movement here no movement here and no movement here that means the gochara lines were not connecting or there were no relevance there were no relevant lines which were connecting between these areas so i asked him whether it was a soulmate or relation or some girlfriend or some kind of affair he said i got married <laughs> that's it simple so you know i mean because he's from a different culture so i have to use my words very carefully so uh, in hindu um in india i would just say you got married man that's it you see that that's all it's tr- simple and straight but uh, when you talk to a person who is not from our culture we have to use lot of possibilities you see so this is what i used uh, in his case now coming to um, uh, as we finish the 27 i asked him at 29 this particular line you can see that it is turning again and it has got an impact on this videsh videsh means foreign foreign land again uh, but this time it's uh, it's quite thick so i asked him what happened he said i again traveled uh, for a much better job from the place where i was uh, i asked him whether this was this seemed to be much more uh, uh, good in terms of money he said yes of course this was really good so i asked him that is amazing that is really good so that means that around 28 29 he again traveled and he got a good job because at 29 there is a fine thin line for bank balance increment <laughs> which one can see right so this is quite uh, clear but i asked him after 27 this was my question to him after 27 and and between 27 and 28 did you face uh, problems uh, he said yes i had some problems financial problems some loan and i didn't uh, i was not able to pay the reason was i was not very sure was that his palm lines are too thin and the gap between 27 and 29 is is very very narrow and hard to predict because there is i could see a reflection but then you see you have to be sure so i asked him whether 
there was an issue he said yes there was an an issue there for sure so at 29 he got a good job again he again uh, traveled and uh, actually got a much better job which is amazing then i asked him that everything is going everything went well until he uh, finished 33 because between 29 and 33 there is a triangle which means he has earned a lot of money i said yes you uh, yes he earned a lot of money and uh, you can see the fate line is also very strong so he did earn uh, quite a lot of money however after 33 i see trouble that is his percentage after 33 i asked him you are facing mental pressures like you never faced in your life he said yes i am the reason is very simple you see whenever the saturn line has ridges flowing i'm talking about gochara gochara means transit whenever you see moon ridges on to the saturn line they're going to give mental pressures it's very simple you just have to identify them you know you have to be smart in uh, looking at the patterns nothing else don't don't worry about this line this is just a gochara line Uh, it will vanish after it gives this effect that is the line that is actually strengthening him uh, in his job so that he is not going to lose his job i told him you are not going to lose your job don't worry he was very worried i said you are not going to lose your job and then um, until 35 plus you are going to have trouble uh, this mental mental pressures will continue until 35 and a half let's say th- from 36 you will in fact from 35 and a half you will see a lot of change 100% and at 36 improvement again will be seen you know you'll go step ahead step further else i see that uh, at 37 again i see a moon uh, ridge joining the fate line and the same moon line is also affecting the mercury line it means that either he's going to change his residence because of his job or maybe for some something else 37 or maybe he is gone on so he will go for some training because look when you uh, when you predict something in terms of training you have to look at the buddha or the buddha means the 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 mount of um, mercury one second i'll just clear this off different color yeah. see buddha mount is this so you have to do the age calculation in the buddha mount okay and from that i could say that after 37 you will have a change in your residence but you will also get some kind of education learning trainings or some enhancement of skills and because of which you will travel or you will change your residence i'm sure he is going to change his residence for sure so um, uh, you know it is clear from the palm um from this this uh, phase of training and learning and job will continue continue let me draw another line will continue until 40 until 40 because i have uh, done the age calculations for this line as well so that is a stretch two and a half year stretch or one r- roughly two and a half year stretch which will continue maybe he's going to earn and he's going to learn something new um, which is 100% sure i told him that uh, at 40 at 40 at 40 and between 40 and 42 and a half 40 and 42 and a half he is going to earn huge money huge huge money which will which is going to be his primary you know savings for his rest of his life because after this the f- the lifeline is thinning and the strength of the fate line is also not really good plus i don't see any energy markings here although i see something here but i don't see any energy markings here i see a very strong saturn line which means that he's going to have earnings until 7 60 65 70 but after 43 44 his earnings will taper off but his savings will be there why because his shukra is very strong shukra means uh, venus venus is very strong he is going to have good earnings uh, good savings but his earnings are going to taper uh, off of after 43 44 maybe he may also have to uh, exit 
uh, you know uh, from from the country uh, where he's working maybe he has to travel back to his country and see again you have to do the age calculations on this line so if you if you uh, analyze i what i told him is that uh, please do not waste your money on air tickets and job uh, you know uh, uh, job search or taking a risk after 43 because after 43 um uh, the chances of getting a good job are less it would be good if you settle down in your own country and do some small stuff or maybe a shop or something because you see there is a business line that develops further towards the and also if you calculate the mercury amount he can do some uh, some kind of consultancy or some kind of thing you know in his own country so this was his prediction i gave uh, him and a very interesting hand to predict and interesting hand to read uh, i would uh, request all of you to also watch my other videos in english i also make videos in hindi for my uh, other indian audience uh, because i'm going to come up with uh, uh, lagna based gemstones you know gemstones based on particular lagna for example i've done with aries i'm going to do with vrishabha i'm also going to do uh, different types of gemstone uh, which are helpful for uh, you know in in remedial stuff that means they they are good remedies also i'm going to come up with um, which color to use in in particular mahadasha or when you look at the palm lines i'm going to come up with lot of stuff like that as uh, we delve deeper so thank you very much for watching uh, my video and if you have any comments or if you want uh, some palm reading i don't charge for palm reading it's just that i'm a researcher i'm researching on astro palmistry you can always uh, get in touch with me uh, by my email gurus astro palmistry at gmail dot com it is uh, there in the description and i'll be more than happy to get back to you thank you so much.